Today we're going to learn how to properly quote Shakespeare inside a literary essay. So whenever you write the title of any play, it should be italicized, such as say if you're going to quote from Shakespeare's Othello, you can see my example, Othello is italicized here. Let's talk about the in-text citations themselves. How are they supposed to look? And you can see my correct uh, example down on my fifth bullet. First, when you cite the act, you're going to use a capitalized Roman numeral followed by a period. Don't use our Cyrillic numbers yet. I need to have the capitalized Roman numeral. Say I'm quoting from Act 5 of Othello. I'm going to use a capital letter V with a period after it. When I want to cite the scene, I'm going to use lowercase Roman numerals followed by a period. So now you can see for scene three, instead of writing the Cyrillic number three, I'm writing I, 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 period. I'm using my Roman numerals. Now when I cite the lines, now I'm going to go back and use our normal numbers. So when I cite line and page numbers up to 101, I'm going to go ahead and just write out those numbers with the dash in between. Like say if I was going to quote lines 34 to 37, that's how I would write it, 34-37. However, if I go above line 100, I only want to repeat the last two figures if the first number matches. Like say I wanted to quote lines 211 and 212. You can see in my example, I don't need to write the number 200 over again. So 211-12 would work. Of course, if I have different numbers at the beginning, like 397 to line 405, or line 96 to line 109, I of course need to write out my full numbers. So what would it look like? Well, you can see in the fifth bullet, if I was quoting from Othello's Act 5, Scene 3, lines 160 to 65, that short in-text citation is correct. What is incorrect, you should not be writing out the words act, scene, or lines. It is Shakespeare, it is understood that those are act, scene, and lines. We do not need the words there. And since our text doesn't cite the line numbers, you can use the page number in place of lines, but, we, but notice that the proper way is to cite lines. A lot of times uh, when you're using Shakespeare, you have a tendency not to have uh, page numbers at the bottom of the pages. So that's why when we cite Shakespeare, we use the acts, the scenes, the lines. So what about quotations? Do I quote like I would in a normal uh, situation? For the most part, yes. When you're quoting one to three lines in Shakespeare, you're going to use quotation marks just like you would with any other quote. And then, of course, follow it with an in-text in citation with a parenthesis and a period. So from one to three lines, it does look pretty much like you would with other quotes. What is different is that because you're looking at lines of poetry, um, lines of meter, you should be using a forward slash to separate Shakespearean lines. So if you look at my example at the bottom, we've got all the world's the stage and all the men and women are merely players. Well, those are two separate lines. If you look at them on a script, you're going to see that all the world's the stage is one line, and right below it, the second line is, and all the men and women are merely players. You need a forward slash to separate those two lines. Otherwise, it's going to work a lot like other quotes. You're going to have quotation marks around those two lines, and you're going to have your in-text citation at the end of parentheses with a period at the end. But notice, once again, our Shakespearean uh, citation where we've got a tall Roman numeral, capital letters, Act 2, our smaller Roman numerals, uh, Scene 7, and then our lines 138 to 39. What becomes a little bit more difficult for students sometimes is block quotes from Shakespeare. What if I want to quote more than four lines of prose or th three lines of verse from Shakespeare? Well, you're going to place those quotations in a freestanding block of text, no quotation marks. And you can see my example at the bottom where we've actually started the quotation on a new line and the entire quote is indented one inch from the left margin. There's no quotation marks and the entire quote is indented one inch from the left margin. Of course, I'm also going to maintain my double spacing like I have done with all of my paragraphs. Now, I only indent the first line of the quotation by an additional quarter inch if I was citing multiple paragraphs. So if I was citing uh, Othello's one line and then Desdemona has two lines and then Othello comes back and cites yet another line, 
I am going to have to indent those like they are new speakers. So my parenthetical citation should come after the closing punctuation mark. After all, our, our quotes usually have to have those citations at the end. And when quoting verse, you want to maintain their original line breaks. We don't have forward slashes here. You're actually going to put down the lines the way they look on the page in your book. Now, after the quote's completed, you want to continue writing your paragraph on the left margin. You should not end your paragraph on a quote like, say, perhaps I have done here on our page. Because it's Shakespeare, you have to unpack all of the lines. You have to give some reasoning for why these lines were important. So you're going to continue on with your paragraph afterwards. So don't, don't indent it. You're continuing on with the same paragraph. So you can see we've got five lines here with all the world of stage and all the men and women are merely players. You notice I don't have a forward slash here. I went ahead and used my original line breaks. And then of course, when I get to the very end of the quote, I do have my uh, in-text citation there in parentheses at the end. So rules for using block quotes. How often should I use those five lines that you had on the previous page? Can I, can I quote Shakespeare often? Well, if it's a short essay, such as the ones that you would usually write in high school, three pages, five pages, six, seven pages, it's probably not a good idea to do that often. I would say chances are you probably only want to do that once. Use one block quote in the entire essay. Don't quote more than five lines in a block quote as well. Uh, Shakespeare has a tendency because he was trying to be uh, very straightforward because he only had a couple hours in a play and at the same time he had to squish together so many words in prose to make him sound like poetry. There's a lot going on in Shakespearean lines. You're going to have a lot to unpack in order to show your comprehension of the Shakespearean lines. If you're going to have a block quote in a paragraph, you have a lot of explaining to do. So you probably don't want to have more than five lines quoted at once because you have to explain those five lines and have multiple block quotes in your essay. Your essay is going to start getting very long. Thanks for stopping by, guys. If you could please check out the channel and check out other videos, I'd much appreciate it.